How's it going, everybody? I'm Christy Lene, and that song is called Breath of Spring. It's the um, first track on my instrumental album. And when I wrote it, I was actually thinking about a uh, pattern in classical music called the ostinato pattern, where one thing continues going as all of the harmony changes underneath it. So I had fun doing that. And um, if you're interested in, in the tapping technique, I'll say one thing that's really fun about discovering that is I found that the process of practicing can lead to the composition of a piece. Um, for example, that particular piece, um, I wrote it with the intention of trying to get better at playing seven note phrases. So um, sevens and fives were always very odd for me. And so whenever there's something that's challenging for me, I try to find a way to practice it that makes it fun. I'd rather, instead of sitting there with a metronome and trying to clap out five or clap out seven, I'd rather um, create some kind of musical pattern and, and practice it up and down the neck so that it actually becomes fun. And that's, that's my method for, um, for playing the guitar is um, anytime you want to learn how to do something, try to find a musical creative way to practice it because it makes it more fun than sitting there um, you know, playing a scale to actually integrate rhythms and practice it to a metronome at different, different types of phrasing. Um, you can get so much music just by um, going up and down a scale straight forward and straight back if the way that you phrase it and accent the notes um, falls on different beats. So it's something really fun to experiment with. And, and on this particular piece, I um, created a riff. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to start it over again, it ends up flipping around. So the second time is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that can be very mathematical, but what's really fun about it is um, taking that thing and it might have been uh, this technique of the tapping um, in short terms is really fun because I always think of it as like the roadrunner legs on, on the neck of the guitar. If you imagine the legs, they fall onto the neck and then they pull off of the string and you get this little circle going. And so minimal motion, the, the closer you stay to the string, the less you actually have to do anything. And the more that you can practice stuff like that or anything um, that you want to learn how to do and integrate it with rhythm and dynamics and all the different elements of music, then actually practice something can lead into the composition of a piece. And that's what happened for that. So. Um, I encourage you to explore that. Try some different tunings. This is um, actually D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Um, and it's just a little spin off of Dad Gad, really. Um, there's so many different variations. You can make up your own tunings. Sometimes I just want to find what the lowest note is that I'm feeling and build a tune off of that based off of a chord or a different mode. Um, the possibilities are endless, so have fun. It's now a, a piece called Song for Michael Pukash, and this was actually the first instrumental piece that I ever wrote. Um, it was based on a painting, and the painting is called Tableau Vivant. Um, it's by an incredible painter, now based in Los Angeles. His name's Michael Pukash, P-U-K-A-C. And um, he asked me to write a piece of music based off of one of his paintings and to tell the story of love. And of course, I had a little bit of a smirk on my face and kind of wondering, you know, uh, what he meant by the story of love because the story of love can be told in so many different ways. So um, he got a little bit deeper and said he wanted it to start out very playful and kind of uncertain, um, move into this feeling of falling in love, um, this blooming, expanding feeling, and then for there to be a sparkly moment, and that is the possibility the baby might be coming. We have the moment of conception and a big boom, and that's the birth of a child, and the rest of the song is rejoicing. It's a celebration of life and uh, probably fast tempo. So this is the synopsis, synopsis he gave me. And um, I said, well, I'll do my best to, um, to tell that story. Um, so uh, this piece actually is what I played in the finalist round, um, t and which won me first place in the International Finger Style Guitar Championship last year in 2017, which was um, a huge honor. And I'm going to play for you now the arrangement. This is a song for Michael Pukash. <laughs>